All right, guys. So this is my final run session of taper. So today is currently Tuesday. So I just had uh, my final table session, uh, just practicing. Okay, Just practicing my um, setups and having some brief, some brief um, power pulls for like a second at a time. Very. Um, low duration um, getting zero fatigue on the arms at all just feeling good good on the table um, and now I'm backing that up with final final cardio session um, you might ask like <laughs> dude you're arm wrestling why the hell are you training um, training cardio lucky core crossing Come on. Um, and the reason that is actually the um this is the the final day that i'm having a decent amount of food tomorrow the cut really begins so i really wanted to get this final cardio session in while i've still got a bit of energy i start actually running um all right so i feel like i'm a better arm wrestler when um when i'm fit come on so, there have been times when I'm, um, I haven't been doing any cardio for a long period of time, and it just doesn't work on the table. I'll, I'll do like one or maybe two rounds, and I just get completely cooked. I'll stop here under this, under this light so I can actually, you can actually see me. Um, like, for example, this match I had with Harrison, um, I did literally one round, it didn't even go that long, it was maybe like 10 seconds, and I was wheezing afterwards, Harrison was standing there after that round, like, just chilling, like, he's like, bro, like, how are you this tired after one? Um, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely need to, um, have some kind of cardiovascular base, even if it's not much of one. So, at the moment, what I've been finding is if I just do like one run a week, and it kind of fits in with um, taking my dogs out for a run, getting them out of the house, getting some exercise. So it fits well with that. Come on, Loki. Um, and that just means that when I'm on the table, cardiovascularly, um, I'm much more chilling. And I can I can do intensive rounds and be okay. Whereas the the first time, so the um the first time I noticed that my cardio was lacking in arm wrestling, I first started noticing a little bit in training. Um, but then, <coughs> and I think I think it was 2022 or 2023. No, it must have been 2022. Oh, Loki. <laughs> Let me just pick that up first and then I'll get back to the video. And so when I was there, um, to get into the final, I had to pull multiple multiple rounds in a row. So I had, first I had a long drawn out match with Gary where we had to pull two rounds because uh, I f actually fouled the first one. Uh, my elbow came off the pad. So we had to restart. It was another long drawn out one ended up flop pressing and then got my cut back and then finally drove and got the finish with a press in the end. Freaking crazy round. Um, then there was a one match break. Then I had Adam Falzerano, no break, straight into Ryan Fairweather. Ryan's left is freaking ridiculous. No break. Then I had to pull Leo twice, so it was completely cooked. That is the craziest string of pulls I've ever had to do in tournament. And um, I just got completely knackered. Like I was breathing so hard. And um, I think that was the first time I'd ever faced Leo Marcus. And he had gone to the final undefeated. So I had to pull once and um, managed to get that one after a grinder first time, but then we had to pull again, and 
I was so cooked. I remember walking up and I was like, couldn't breathe. My mouth was so dry. And I was just not, not in a good state. Um, and then it happened again. At, um, it was either nationals that year. It must've been nationals because state New South Wales champs had already been and gone. Or maybe, maybe the first time it happened was at New South Wales champs. And then, um, the second time was at ACT, and that was actually that, yeah, that's what happened. First time was at New South Wales Champs. Second time was at ACT. So by the time it happened the second time, I was like, okay, this is actually significantly impacting my arm wrestling. And that's when I realized I need to just have a bit of a cardio base to be able to arm wrestle to my best ability. So, yeah, today's Tuesday. Um, I weighed in, I, I, wait, um, I weighed in crossing. I weighed in this morning, 83.5. So, so I'm pretty close already. So I kept eating today, but lowered the carbs a bit. And, um, tomorrow is when the real cut begins so probably little food tomorrow definitely no carbs and then definitely very little water on um on Thursday and based on how I weigh Thursday morning I can either chill out the Thursday cut a bit or if I need to keep going hard I will crossing so yeah, for everyone that's coming to New South Wales Champs Crossing, um, good luck, and I'll see you all there. All right, time to finish the rest of this run. We're about maybe maybe a fifth of the way through. I like doing this loop, go down through the park. Might get some more footage a little bit later on. Let's go through the park, but it can be pretty dark. Close to the park now, down the hill, past the supermarket. The supermarket was just back there. The dogs love coming with me. Loki up front, he only comes once in a while. Cora, down here, she comes every time. She's um, really never leaves my side. It was like he's more of Sophie, Sophie's dog. So he um, sometimes prefers staying home with her. All right, around dark patch. Just about to cross the road and into the park. Oh. Okay. Pretty wet at the moment. There's been big, ah, 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 Loki, stop. Crossing. Good boy. going through the park you couldn't see so I didn't get a video at the top of the hill again we're nearly there and we're about to go on the final stretch final stretch back home oh, cardio complete for this round this preparation 